Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang sample size determination. So, ang content ng lesson na ito is about the Slobin's formula. So, paano kukunin ang sample size using the Slobin's formula? Uh, paano kunin ang length of confidence interval? At paano gamitin yung length of confidence interval para makuha yung sample size for estimating the population proportion and the population mean? So, let's start with the Slobin's formula. So, yung Slobin's formula ginagamit natin para malaman kung, uh, kung ano yung pinakamaliit na sample size na pwede natin kunin or the least sample size na pwede natin kunin sa population kapag magkakandak tayo ng study. So, dito, given yung population size and the margin of error. So, we have n is equal to the population size over 1 plus the population size times the margin of error square. Let's have the example, what is the least number of samples needed in a study with a population of 500 at 5% margin of error? So first identify the given, we have the population size of 500 and the margin of error which is 0.05. So substitute this into the formula and solve for n, we will have uh, 500 the population size over 1 plus 500 times 0 0.05 square is equal to 222. So round your answers to the nearest whole number since pinag-uusapan natin dito is the number of samples. Next example number 2. A certain company wants to determine the acceptance level of their 1,000 employees in the working schedule they presented. At least how many employees must they include in the survey if they want 2% precision? Okay, so yung 2% uh, precision, this is the same as the margin of error. Okay, so first identify the given, the population size is 1,000 and the margin of error is 0 0.02. Substituting this into the formula, then we have 1,000 over 1 plus 1,000 times 0 0.02 square is equal to 714. Next, dumako naman tayo sa length of confidence interval. So, ang length of confidence interval is the difference between the lower and the upper limit of the interval estimate or twice the margin of error. So, ang margin of error, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, is uh, the same as the level of precision. For example, the interval estimate of the population proportion is 12%. 14%. The length of the confidence interval here is 14 minus 12 is equal to 2% and the margin of error is 1%. So itong length of the confidence interval is dinivide lang natin sa 2 para makuha yung margin of error. Kasi ang ating gagamitin sa mga formula natin is the margin of error. Kaya dapat alam nyo kung paano kunin yung margin of error given the length or the width of the confidence interval. So kung babalikan natin yung interval estimate, so, para makuha siya is kailangan natin dito yung point estimate of the population proportion and then ipa-plus at ima-minus natin yung margin of error. Okay? So, from here, ang ating point estimate of the population proportion is 13 and then 13 minus 1% is 12% and then 13 plus 1% is 14%. Kaya, meron tayo ritong length of the confidence interval which is 2% and the margin of error is 1%. Next, what if the given is the population mean? Okay, so the interval estimate of the population mean is 12,24. The length of the confidence interval here is 24 minus 12 which is equal to 12 units and the margin of error is 6 units. So, yung margin of error nakuha natin siya by dividing the length of the confidence interval or the width of the confidence interval by 2. So, paano ba natin kunin ang sample size for estimating the population mean? If the population standard deviation is known. So we have here n is equal to quantity z sub alpha over 2. Ito yung confidence coefficient or the z value corresponding to a significance level or the confidence level. So times the population standard deviation over the margin of error square. Okay? So z sub alpha over 2 is the confidence coefficient katulad na sabi ko kanina or the z value corresponding to the level of confidence or significance level. So he, uh, this one sigma is the population standard deviation. E is the margin of error or the level of precision and n is the sample size. So paano ba natin nakuha itong formula na ito? So, this is derived from this formula kung matatandaan nyo yung ating previous lesson na nilagay ko yung link sa video description. So, the margin of error is equal to Z sub alpha over 2 times population standard deviation over square root of the sample size. So, dito kukunin naman natin yung sample size 
paano natin siya uh, paano natin siya i-express in terms of the other variables so uh, ang una nating gagawin is i-multiply all the terms by square root of n para ma-cancel ito then we will have e square root of n is equal to z sub alpha over 2 times the population standard deviation since uh, sinosolve natin yung uh, n dito divide both sides by e then square root of n is equal to z sub alpha over 2 times uh, sigma over e and then square both sides kaya matatanggal square root nito then n is equal to z sub alpha over 2 times sigma over e and then square so dito natin na derive sa formula ng margin of error iyong ating formula na gagamitin ngayon. Now for the sample size for estimating population proportion, ginagamit natin ito if the population standard deviation is unknown. So uh, we have n is equal to p hat. This is the sample proportion. Q hat is the complement of the sample proportion times z sub alpha over 2 over e and then square. Uh, so, ito yung representation na ating variables at dito kailangan din natin gamitin yung the critical values corresponding to the confidence level. So, na-derive natin ang formula na, na pinakita ko kanina dito sa margin of error for uh, population proportion. So, E is equal to Z sub alpha over 2 square root of P hat times Q hat over N. So, to solve for N here, uh, divide natin both sides by Z sub alpha over 2. Then we will have E over Z sub alpha over 2 is equal to square root of P hat times Q hat over N. And then square natin siya both sides. Then magkakaroon tayo ng uh, E over Z sub alpha over 2 square is equal to P hat times Q hat over N. Okay? And then para masolve natin yung N, na cross multiply ko siya rito. Okay? So pinagpalit ko yung N dito, nilagay ko sa numerator kaya meron tayong N dito. And then itong part na ito is nalagay ko sa denominator. Okay, so n is equal to p hat times q hat over quantity e over z sub alpha over 2 square. And then, ito is na reciprocal ko lamang. Then, we will have n is equal to p hat times q hat times, ni reciprocal ito, kaya may z sub alpha over 2 over e square. Okay, so ito yung ating gagamitin na formula to compute for the sample size for estimating the population proportion. Example number one, with 95% confidence level and the margin of error of 2, determine the sample size needed to estimate the population mean with a standard deviation of 12.8. So first identify the given. So the population standard deviation here is 12.8. The margin of error is 2. Okay, ito yon. And we have alpha or the confidence, the significance level of 0 0.05 dahil 95% ang ating confidence level. And then, we have here the confidence coefficient which is 1.96. Tiningnan lang natin itong confidence level which is 95%. So, ang gagamitin nating formula dito since the population standard deviation is known is ito. Kasi ito ay for the population mean. Okay, so substituting this into the formula, Z sub alpha over 2 is 1.96 times 12.8, the population standard deviation, ito yon over the margin of error which is 2, is equal, e square pa natin siya, is equal to 157. So round off your answer to the nearest whole number. Example number 2. Determine the sample size needed to estimate the population proportion at 1% level of significance with a precision of 8% given p hat or the sample proportion of 0.06. So first identify the given p hat or the sample proportion is 0.06. Its complement q hat is 0.54 that is 1 minus 0.46. Okay, so the level of precision is 0.08. The significance level is 0 0.01, so therefore, ang ating confidence level is 99%. So, ito yung ating gagamitin na confidence coefficient or the critical value, so 2.58. Next, step 2, substitute into the formula and solve. So, dahil wala yung ating population standard deviation at uh, population proportion na pinag-uusapan natin, ito ang gagamitin nating formula. Okay, so substituting this, p hat is 0.46, q hat is 0.54, Z sub alpha over 2 is 2.58 and over 0 0.08, ito yung ating margin of error, square natin is equal to 258. So, round up your answer to the nearest whole number dahil sample ang ating pinag-uusapan. Next example number 3. 
An investigator wants to estimate the average birth weight of infants born in full term to mothers below 19 years. It is known that the population standard deviation is 300 grams. How many women under 19 years must be enrolled in the study to ensure a 95% confidence interval estimate of the average birth weight of infants with a width of 120 grams? So first, identify the given. So, given dito yung population standard deviation, which is 300. So, E is equal to 120 over 2 is equal to 60 units. So, bakit natin i-divide yung 120 dito sa 2? Dahil ang 120 is the width of the confidence interval or the length of the confidence interval. So, para makuha natin ang margin of error, i-divide natin siya sa 2. So, alpha is 0.05. Dahil 95% ang ating confidence level, and then we have the confidence coefficient which is 1.96. This corresponds to 95% confidence level. So, itong gagamitin nating formula dahil known ang population standard deviation, and substituting this into the formula, itong given na ito, so we have 1.96 times 300 over 60 square is equal to 96. Example number 4. In a certain province, 52% of the residents said that they had been affected by the typhoon last year. How many adults should be surveyed to estimate the actual proportion of adults who had been affected by the typhoon with a 98% confidence level and is 8% wide? So first, identify the given P hat is 0 0.52. Ito yung 52% of the residents said that they had been affected by the typhoon. Okay, so Q hat is 0.48. The margin of error is 0 0.08 over 2 which is 0 0.04. Dahil ang given is the width of the confidence interval or the length of the confidence interval which is 8%. Alpha is 0 0.02 dahil 98% ang confidence level natin and the confidence coefficient is 2.33. So, this corresponds to the 98% confidence level. So, ito yung ating gagamitin formula dahil pinag-uusapan is population proportion. So, by substituting this into the formula, 0.52 is uh, P hat and then 0.48, ito yung Q hat times 2.33, ito yung Z sub alpha over 2, the confidence coefficient over 0 0.04, yung square natin is equal to 847. So again, i-round up natin ang ating sagot to the nearest whole number. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye!